Sir Albert Ainsley Green, born the 30th of May 1943, is a pediatric endocrinologist and professor emeritus of child health at University College London. Ainsley Green is most notable for advancing the idea of the rights of children. He was appointed to the first Children's Commissioner for England in March 2005, serving in this position until 2009. During this time he launched an initiative to publicize and combat bullying. Life Ainsley Green married Rosemary Ann Ainsley Green née Boucher in 1967 and has two children. Career Ainsley Green started his clinical training at King's College London GKT School of Medical Education at the Guy's Hospital campus. Ainsley Green then undertook research into insulin secretion that led to a thesis, that earned him a promotion to D.Phil at the University of Oxford. Having decided to specialise in paediatrics, Ainsley Green took his clinical training within the hospitals in Oxfordshire, and then moved to the University Children's Hospital of Zurich to take specialised training as a paediatric endocrinologist. After returning to the UK, Ainsley Green was appointed as a clinical lecturer at the University of Oxford, and was then promoted to Fellow of Green College Oxford, with a position as university lecturer. In 1984, Ainsley Green was appointed to the the position of James Spence Professor of Child Health at Newcastle University. In 1993, Ainsley Green was invited to take the Nuffield Chair of Child Health at the Institute of Child Health. With the position was an appointment as an Executive Director of Clinical Research and Development at Great Ormond Street Hospital. <laughs> NHS Task Force for Children On the 22nd of July 2000, Ainsley Green and other colleagues published a paper in which it was argued that children were being ignored in future health plans that the then United Kingdom government was preparing, and that a strategy was needed that would enable children and adolescents to be represented at all levels of health policy. The paper contrasted that while in Scotland, a children's minister had been appointed and in Wales, a children's commissioner was being appointed during the life of the National Assembly for Wales, but in England, a fundamental cultural reorganisation was needed to be realised to benefit children and adolescents at all levels of healthcare and policy. In the 22nd of July 2001, Ainsley Green was appointed to the UK Director of Children's Health Care Services by Alan Milburn of the First Blue Air Ministry a position he held until December 2005, when the appointment was taken by Sheila Shribman. Milburn stated that Ainsley Green's priority will be to spearhead the faster development of the first ever national standards for children's health services. In August 2001, Ainsley Green called for the UK government to create a children's commissioner for England. The role was entirely independent from government, with a statutory responsibility to speak for health and well being needs of the children in England, numbering approximately 11 million. In 4 October 2004, Ainsley Green and his colleagues published the National Service Framework for Children. In March 2005, Ainsley Green became the Children's Commissioner for England, a position he held until 2010. To achieve the position, children had to be consulted and indeed was the overarching principle. Due to the children, the original name of the office was changed, from Office of the Children's Commissioner to 11 million a relatively obscure name, but representative of the wishes of the children. Ainsley Green also had to sit an exam that was written by and marked by the children. The process also included two interrogations by secondary school children. Ainsley Green role was considered a controversial choice for the position and after being appointed to the role, he received significant negative press coverage and considered enemy number 1 by the press. Melanie Phillips at the time of the Daily Mail accused him of treating children as mini adults. Catherine Bennett at the time, of The Observer criticised the bleak picture of English childhood that Ainsley Green offered. 
Tony McNulty complained about Ainsley Green opposition to stop and search and that he was wrong in his approach. John Reed Baron Reed of Cardowan wrote the foreword. In 2008, as part of their remit, Ainsley Green along with the other Children's Commissioners of the Other Nations of the United Kingdom, produced a report for the United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Children. Although the working of the four commissioners together was evidence that they were working to improve the life of children. The report's conclusion stated that some things had got worse for children since the committee's concluding observations of 2002. At the end of Ainsley Green's term as Children's Commissioner, he was interviewed by the Daily Telegraph in 2010. In the interview, Ainsley Green posited that Britain was suffering a deep malaise and could be considered one of the most child hostile countries in the world. Ainsley Green commented on the mosquito device, essentially an ultrasonic weapon, used to stop children gathering. Ainsley Green once headed a campaign to ban it, describing it as the most visible aspect of hostility to the young. Ainsley Green reported that when he abroad, he would often be asked by Britain was so hostile to children, and that as a people, the British only care about their own children, and not others. Ainsley Green said in interview, that current healthcare services were still geared towards adults, and worst outcomes for children in the developed world and a foreword of a report published by the BMA, Ainsley Green, wrote that the National Service Framework for Children was being systematically betrayed by politicians through a lack of political will, and blaming the churn in ministerial appointments, political indifference and failed be the Parliament to hold the Department of Health. Ainsley Green also said that the Department of Health publishing of a new policy statement, Achieving Equity and Excellence was meant to neutralize Sir Ian Kennedy's highly critical report, on the lack of progress in improving children's services. In the report Ainsley Green, expressed in writing a kind of déjà vu that all his previous work and his colleagues, on the national framework was being repeated. Topic. Societies Ainsley Green held the chair of chair of the Salisbury Diocesan Board of Education from 1 October 2010 and resigned on 1 July 2013. Ainsley Green served as president of the British Medical Association in 2015–16. Honours and awards In 1991, Ainsley Green was awarded the The Andrea Prater Prize for Outstanding Achievements in Leadership, Teaching and Clinical Practice in the Field of Pediatric Endocrinology. The award was named in honour of Andrea Prater, the Swiss scientist, pediatric endocrinologist, who discovered prater willi syndrome. Ainsley Green was knighted in 2006. He is an honorary fellow of Oriel College, Oxford. In 2011, Ainsley Green was awarded an honorary degree of Doctor of Education at Nottingham Trent University, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the education and health of children. Ainsley Green received the James Spence Medal in 2013. Bibliography The following are the most cited papers of Ainsley Green. Anand, K. J. S., Sipple, W. G., Ainsley Green, A. January 1987. Randomized trial of fentanyl anesthesia in preterm babies undergoing surgery, effects on the stress response. The Lancet. 329 8524, 62 to 66. DOI 10.1016 SO1406736879109076. Bitner Glinzich, Maria, Lindley, Keith J. Rutland, Paul, et al. September 2000. A recessive contiguous gene deletion causing infantile hyperinsulinism, enteropathy and deafness identifies the Usher type 1c gene. Nature Genetics, 26, 56-60. DOI, 10.1038, 79178. P. 
PMID 10973248. Kornblath, M., Horden, J. M., Williams, A. F., Ainsley Green, A., Ward Platt, M. P., Schwartz, R., Callan, S. C. The 1st of May 2000. Controversies regarding definition of neonatal hypoglycemia, suggested operational thresholds. Pediatrics. 105 5, 1141–1145. DOI, 10.1542, PEDS, 105.5.1141. PMID 10790476. Dunn, Mark J., Cosgrove, Karen E., Shepard, Ruth M., Ainsley Green, Albert, Lindley, Keith J. January 2004. Hyperinsulinism in Infancy, From Basic Science to Clinical Disease. Physiological Reviews. 84 239–275. DOI, 10.1152, FISREF.00022.2003. PMID 14715916. Bittner Glinzich, Maria, Lindley, Keith J., Rutland, Paul, Bladen, Diana, Smith, Verpi V., Miller, Peter J., Hussein, Khalid, Firth Lavi, Judith, Cosgrove, Karen E., Shepard, Ruth M., Barnes, Philippa D., O'Brien, Rachel E., Farnden, Peter A., Soudan, Jane, Lou, Zhu Jong, Scanlon, Matthew J., Malcolm, Sue, Dunn, Mark J., Ainsley Green, Albert, Glazer, Benjamin September 2000. A recessive contiguous gene deletion causing infantile hyperinsulinism, enteropathy and deafness identifies the Usher type 1C gene. Nature Genetics, 26 56–60. DOI, 10.1038, 79178. PMID 10973248. Clayton, Peter T., Eaton, Simon, Ainsley Green, Albert, Edgington, Mark, Hussein, Khalid, Krewarwich, Steve, Dutta, Vipin, Malinga, Helga E. M., Berger, Root, Van den Berg, Inger E. T. The 1st of August 2001. Hyperinsulinism in short-chain L3-hydroxyacyl-CoA dehydrogenase deficiency reveals the importance of beta-oxidation in insulin secretion. Journal of Clinical Investigation. 108, 3, 457-465. DOI, 10.1172, JCI 11294. PMC 209352. PMID 11489939. Dunn, Mark J., Kane, Charlotte, Shepard, Ruth M., Sanchez, Jorge A., James, Roger F. L., Johnson, Paul R. V., Ainsley Green, Albert, Lou, Shan, Clement, John P., Lindley, Keith J., Sino, Susumu, Aguilar Bryan, Lydia, Gonzalez, Gabriella, Miller, Peter J. The 6th of March 1997. Familial persistent hyperinsulinemic hypoglycemia of infancy and mutations in the sulfonylurea receptor. New England Journal of Medicine, 336, 10, 703 to 706. DOI 10.1056 NEJM 19970306336105. PMID 9041101. Kornblath, Marvin, Schwartz, Robert, Ainsley Green, Albert, Lloyd, June K. May 1990. Hypoglycemia in Infancy – The Need for a Rational Definition. Pediatrics. 85 5, 834–837. ISSN 0031-4005, the following are books that Ainsley Green wrote or co-wrote Gregory, John W., Ainsley Green, Albert 1993. Hypoglycemia. Bailier's Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, Volume 7, No. 3 Illustrations ed. London, Bailier. 
pp. 551–783. Ainsley Green, Albert Stress and Pain in Infancy and Childhood. London, Bailey Tyndall. ISBN 9780702020094. Hill, Ronald 1985. Hypoglycemia in Infancy and Childhood. Edinburgh, Churchill Livingston. ISBN 9780443031314. Hill, Ronald 1997. Unintentional Injury in Childhood and Adolescence. Bailey's Clinical Pediatrics, International Practice and Research Vol. 5 No. 3. London, Bailier, Tyndall. ISBN 9780702023314. Hill, Ronald 1993. Do you hear the children weeping, O oh my brothers, ere the sorrow comes with years? London, Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children NHS Trust. Ainsley Green, Al. 2003. The Harrison Research Center at the Children's Trust, inaugural lecture, Do You Hear the Children Weeping, O oh My Brothers? Tadworth. OCLC 957168274. Kane, Charlotte, Shepard, Ruth M., Squires, Paul E., Johnson, Paul R. V., James, Roger F. L., Miller, Peter J., Ainsley Green, Albert, Lindley, Keith J., Dunn, Mark J. The 1st of December 1996. Loss of functional KATP channels in pancreatic beta cells causes persistent hyperinsulinemic hypoglycemia of infancy. Nature Medicine. 2 12, 1344 to 1347. DOI 10.1038 per nanometers 1296-1344. Ainsley Green, A. 2019. The British Betrayal of Childhood Challenging Uncomfortable Truths and Bringing About Change, 1 ed. New York, Routledge. ISBN 9781138299. Birch Machin, Mark A., Ainsley Green, Albert, Welch, Robert J., Milligan, David W. A., Dali USMAR, Victor M., Bartlett, Kim, Sherat, H. Stanley A., Watmo, Nicholas J., Turnbull, Douglas M. 1989. Fatal Lactic Acidosis in Infancy with a Defect of Complex III of the Respiratory Chain. Pediatric Research. 25 to 553 minus 559. DOI 10.1203 00006450198905000002. Inactive the 18th of May 2019. The following are proceedings that Ainsley Green wrote or co-wrote. Ainsley Green, Albert, 1984. Pediatric Endocrinology in Clinical Practice, Proceedings of the Royal College of Physicians Pediatric Endocrinology Conference 20–21 October 1983 Conference Publication ed. London, Lancaster, MTP Press. ISBN 9780852008673. Ainsley Green, Albert, Kellner, Christopher J. H. 34th Annual Meeting of the European Society for Pediatric i.e. Pediatric Endocrinology ESPE, Abstracts, Edinburgh, June 25–28, 1995 European Society for Pediatric Endocrinology. Annual Meeting ed. Basel, Carga. ISBN 9783805560. Hill, Ronald 1997. 